Hello, I am Roberto Croci, Managing Director for Microsoft for Startups across the Middle East and Africa region. Welcome everyone to Highway 200 Unicorns, the largest tech and innovation virtual conference in the region, hosted by Microsoft for Startups Middle East and Abu Dhabi Investment Office. It's my absolute pleasure to welcome our esteemed speaker for the opening remarks of Highway to 100 Unicorns, His Excellency Dr. Ahmad Belul Al-Falasi, Minister of State for Entrepreneurship and SMEs at the UAE Ministry of Economy. He is a driving force behind the transformation of the UAE and the wider region into a global tech and innovation hub. Please allow me to introduce His Excellency, Dr. Ahmad, to share his insights with you all. Thank you, Roberto, for the introduction. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I'm very happy to be welcoming you today to the Highway 200 Unicorns virtual conference. Would have loved for us to meet in person, but I guess everybody's used to using digital technologies. Uh, I want to thank you all for joining us today. And I also want to thank in particular Microsoft for Startups and their partners at the Abu Dhabi Investment Office, ADIO, for putting together this outstanding event, which ambitiously aims to empower startups across a vast region and covering the Middle East, Turkey, and Pakistan. A robust startup ecosystem begins with a strong and expansive network of partners and a nurturing and constructive environment, all designed to support entrepreneurs and empower them to turn their innovative ideas into concrete, successful projects. And this is where events like ours today become all the more important, bringing together startups, entrepreneurs, investors, and other stakeholders from the sector to engage in discussion over the challenges they face. They also need to find solutions to overcome them and provide startups with the resources they need to succeed, as well as accelerating the startup ecosystem in the region. Startups and small and medium enterprises are the backbone of any economy. Despite the downturn brought by the COVID-19 pandemic, the global startup economy remained large and in 2020 generated close to $3 trillion in value. That figure is at par with the GDP of the G7 economies. Here in the UAE, the sector contributed to more than 53% of the country's non-oil GDP. And you can only look forward for this percentage to grow even more over the years. In April, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed Barahi Al Maktoum, Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE, ruler of Dubai, set an ambitious goal of funding 13,500 new companies. This has become particularly important following the COVID-19 crisis where countries around the globe look to startups and innovations as their way out of the damage the pandemic has left in its path. DOE leadership has taken decisive action in that regard, launching a 390 billion dirham stimulus plan where startups and entrepreneurship took central stage. Authorities around the region and the world have launched similar programs to support new startups and innovative ideas. Without a doubt, Investing in young and creative minds is our best bet, not only to accelerate recovery from the pandemic, but to open new prospects for progress and advancement and pave the way for a better future for communities across the globe. Ladies and gentlemen, we are indeed on the edge of a new era, a new world, some may say, and nobody is better poised to lead us into that than entrepreneurs and startups who boldly embrace advanced and sometimes experimental technologies and transform them into products and services that benefit their communities across the globe. Our role as governments is to lay the foundations for innovation and startup friendly environment, one where entrepreneurship can thrive. Examples from around the world have demonstrated that the right startup ecosystem can help create tremendous value. For example, in 2019, more than 80 ecosystems globally produced a billion dollar startup, a unicorn, which is what today, which is what today's event is aiming to create in the region. This region, which is constantly navigating developments and upheavals, is in need of positive examples and inspiring success stories that can offer hope and a roadmap to the future. 
The Highway 200 Unicorns is an ideal place to find these examples. Participants today include promising startups on one end, leading experts on the other, coming together in a place to learn, network, and grow. This environment is exactly the kind of ecosystem needed to incubate and grow a unicorn idea. In conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you once again for being part of the Highway to 100 Unicorn virtual conference. Wish you all the best of luck for the event and the future. We look forward to more of these conferences in the years ahead. The UAE aspires to be an ecosystem where innovation thrives, and this is the kind of event that brings us all together to meet that objective. Thank you all, and I wish you all the best. Welcome to all the startups out there joining us for this Highway to 100 Unicorns webinar series. Thank you for being here. Special thanks to His Excellency Dr. Ahmed Belhol Al Falasi, the UAE Minister of State for Entrepreneurship and SMEs, for sharing his thoughts with us today. I want to start also by thanking Abu Dhabi Investment Office, our partners, and who have played a critical role in, ena in enabling us to bring the Highway 200 Unicorns program to the UE. Thank you for such great partnership. Abu Dhabi Investment Office is also helping us bringing other great initiatives for startups like the Growth X Accelerator, which you might be hearing about in the, at a later stage. These flagship initiatives are part of our Microsoft for, Microsoft for Startups program that really enables startup ecosystem in the country and helps Abu Dhabi become a, a, a central uh, city that supports and builds great startups out of, out of the UAE and Abu Dhabi. The joint vision of ADIO and Microsoft is a vibrant ecosystem of talent and innovation that inspires the next generation of entrepreneurs to bring their innovations to life. Our technologies, expertise, and guidance will serve as a helping hand for the entrepreneurs that will shape the economy for years to come, starting locally, but, sc but scaling globally. We are very pleased today that we'll, we'll be launching this, uh, this initiative. Let's begin with an interesting observation. In 2020, the number of funding deals for startups across the Middle East and North Africa went up by almost 10% from the first to the second quarter. And if you remember, 2020 was the year of the pandemic, was the height of, of COVID hitting, uh, hitting across, uh, across the world. So this tells you how much opportunity and how much interest startups are attracting. This year has already begun on a higher note. In March alone, UE startups attracted investments of $130 million, reaching approximately $260 million in the first quarter. So they have every reason to be optimistic about the future. This is one of the many indications that the country and the region startup ecosystem is becoming more vibrant every day. And we must stand ready to support new businesses as they actualize their potential and bring new ideas to life. We must remember that in our post-COVID normal, we will look to the startups to help us navigate and help us restart the economy and help us address some of the toughest challenges that, uh, that we might be facing. In 2019, the Ministry of Economy estimated that the SME's contribution to GDP is around 40% and revealed that 95% of the private sector is made of small and medium businesses. And that includes startups, of course. They employ 42% of the workforce. For non-oil GDP, the contribution is even higher. It's around 53%, and it's expected to rise to 60% by the end of 2021. This is the reality for our startups. They are the lifeblood of our economies. And in the years to come, we shall expect them to rise to a number of challenges, be it climate change, water shortage, or supporting new economic realities. There will also be an abundance of opportunities ahead of us. If you look at every, almost every sector in the economy right now, as we're navigating outside of COVID, it's, it's really uh, having an accelerated uh, growth, and there is a lot of optimism that comes with that. For example, the UAE retail sector is expected to show growth of 13% this year and to reach $58 billion. 
Another example is healthcare, who played, of course, a critical critical uh, uh, role in supporting in supporting the country during the the pandemic. This sector as well is expected to grow 7.5 percent for the next five years. Startups with new ideas will be very welcome in these industries where they can disrupt and create value for their customers and the economy at large. We can already see how they can be the fuel of recovery, creating jobs and innovating their way around. When we talk about how we have approached uh, COVID time, we said it was first we helped the country to respond, then we helped the economies to recover, or the, the stage that we're in right now. But then the third stage, which is the most exciting one, is really reimagining the future and reimagining what's what's possible. And if anything COVID has taught us is that technology can play a critical role in shaping the future. And it just like it helped economies and helped countries uh, drive, you know, uh, continuity, business continuity, and be able to respond to to a global health crisis like what we've seen. It will help countries as well prosper and reimagine new opportunities and drive accelerated growth. Leveraging the power of technology and the intelligent cloud in addressing the world's most important uh, or challenging uh, tasks be it you know from uh, how they can invent new ways to farm crops that can use less water deliver higher yields of uh, of uh, crops as well as use less insecticides or that would be a great a great initiative the carbon footprint and producing more efficient and sustainable production systems we talked about the growth in retail and healthcare, as well as uh, financial services. And today, the mindset of consumers have changed. No one expects to stand in lines anymore. People expect mobility, expect to be served in the way they want to interact. And again, startups are the best place where innovations and disruptions will come. What we're looking for as Microsoft is that we support the startups here to build their business, to build their capabilities, to start getting their first their first customers and start to grow within the country. But then we also work with them to support them to scale globally and to really capture the opportunity, not just on, on a country and a regional perspective, but as well on a worldwide perspective. Once we do have proven offerings and we have startups that start this, this journey of growth, we will work hand in hand with them in Microsoft to avail their solutions on a global perspective, to leverage all Microsoft offices across more than 100 countries to promote their solutions. And in a way that uh, that also uh, is a win-win situation because they will be, they'd be leveraging our platforms and our sales teams, our marketing teams, our technical teams across the world will be promoting their solutions. Coinciding with the UE's aspiration, Microsoft has long been on this journey with a shared vision with the country's leadership to empower homegrown startups with technology, mentorship, skilling, networking, and access to funding. And part of this includes the strategic investments and meaningful collaborations that we've made over the years. I talked about how we can help startups to, to scale globally but also enabling the startups to, to build their business today is another, is another critical factor. And this, is, this was one of the reasons why we at Microsoft have invested in building two data center regions, two Microsoft Cloud data center regions in the country. And today, I think we're, uh, we just celebrated two years of those data center regions. I think this was a very timely investment that we made because it became a critical enabler for all the startup ecosystem because all startups today will have infinite uh, access or infinite uh, compute capabilities that of course if every startup would try to build this on their own it would become a big barrier for their for their uh, growth and their success today they can leverage those data centers that are in country to help them both grow in country but as well, but as, well as serve their customers across across the world so in uh, in conclusion I cannot be more excited to see how many of the startups participating in these series.
Microsoft and Adyo stand together as your advocates, your counselor, and your friends. We call on entrepreneurs to step forward, to lead, and to invent. We encourage you to see yourself as the economic future of this region and to inspire the next generations to do the same. Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoy the series. Thank you.